Well, we have a new poll this morning. Vice President Kamala Harris, apparently the top choice for Democrats, should President Biden choose not to run again in 2024. This is according to a new The Hill Harris X poll. It is by a slim margin. 13 percent of registered voters are backing her. 10 percent say that they would support a presidential run from former First Lady Michelle Obama. And 36 percent say they are not sure who that they would vote for. This comes as both the president and vice president face plummeting poll numbers. In a USA Today Suffolk University poll earlier this month, Harris received just 28 percent job approval rating. Dagan, I remember a couple of uh, months ago, we had a different poll saying that the Democrats were pushing Pete Buttigieg forward. What are your thoughts? I don't buy this poll at all. And if you add I up, don't either. Add up Kamala Harris and Michelle Obama, it's 23%, but 36% are unsure. Number one, Michelle Obama will never run for president. Number two, Kamala Harris dropped out of the uh, nomination competition for the uh, Dem nomination even before the first voting contest. Her approval is even lower than Joe Biden. That's how that's how she is thought of by voters in this country. She is awkward to say the least when she gets in front of a camera. That's one of the reasons that her pr approval ratings are so low. I can't imagine, despite the fact that she's the vice president of the United States, I can't imagine that she winds up running for the presidency against the Republican contender in three years' time. Yeah. I I don't know what, maybe this is about getting Michelle Obama's name out there, Dagan. You know, I mean, look, obviously they need something. These approval ratings are indicative of a changing, uh, a changing perception from the American people. Your thoughts? The, Angela, you want to jump in here? Because I, again, Michelle Obama is beloved, but she's not a politician. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's right. And if the Democrats' options are Kamala Harris and Pete Buttigieg, they're choosing between the person who oversaw the border crisis and the person who oversaw the, the supply chain crisis. So they have no good options. And floating Michelle Obama's name is just a, a poor attempt to disguise that. Uh, I think this might be the first time, at least I've seen, that being vice president has actually made someone less qualified for the presidency and not more. Uh, the vice president's going in reverse and her poll numbers show it. Yeah. Well, look, they gave her the most important job, in my view, becoming the border czar, protect our borders, and she didn't do anything with it. So, obviously, she didn't want the job.